So we're just comparing nails and stuff, <laughs> of, which, of which I don't have any, but her fingers look like Easter eggs. Yeah, um, they do, right? Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You are watching Pop Rap and, oh, that, this is Glees. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. This is happening right now. <laughs> In the 10 years that I've been doing this, I've met a lot of people who are so good at honing in on like where the world is. I need to be able to separate myself. So not being signed and just doing a record in my house for myself was the best thing for me just because there, it, there were no kind of judgments or ideas. It's just like I'm, I'm working and I'm writing and kind of fleshing things out, you know, and that's for me like the best process that I could possibly just you and your for. kitchen and a baby and some friends and yeah just really relaxing you know and, and I, it was before the baby was born so I was just I was literally figuratively filled with life the actual physicality of being pregnant it seems like nothing should work properly but it's just amazing how God kind of figures it all out you know like I mean my my lungs are like over here my <laughs> spleen's in my throat I'm like <laughs> I was just like yeah it was ridiculous but yet like I feel like it just was like, I mean, it literally just like flowed out, you know, um, and feeling this little like alien inside of you responding to your voice is nuts, you know, I mean, it's absolutely nuts. Even just writing, like, I feel like we were writing together, you know, it's like, it's just like, it's this, everything is so linked in, you know, that I def I feel like I play stuff and he's just like, <laughs> and he immediately like starts like yeah. jamming, it's the cutest thing ever. But How like, old is you know, Mike now? He, he'll be one this month. You worked with some amazing producers. Um, I mean, Guetta, for instance. Was it like, okay, acapella is the first single after you guys did it? He sent me like eight tracks, and then like I got tracks from Boys Noise, and I got tracks from um, this kid Burns, and I heard this beat, and it was just so simple. It was just so clean. It was rough and sort of had like a tribal vibe to it, but there was really not, not much to it. And I kept listening to it, and then so finally I had this melody that just kept, every time I heard the beat, it just kind of came to me. And um, so I laid the melody down. And the second I heard it, and it was done, and I heard the whole song, and I listened to it, and I played it back, and I was like, I think this is the best thing I've ever written. There's a beat I was missing, no tune or a skill I could play. You did a little bit of work with Ellie and Ben from LaRue. Are we gonna get to hear that? We were just writing, like I just, I, you know, I think he's great, and mm -hmm. like I really just wanted to work with him. Um, so we just went in, and I was in London just to write. So I think he actually um, said that he was giving it to another artist, because we just, we were just playing around yeah. and just, you know, so hopefully we'll hear it. It won't be me on it, but yeah. um, what's I think, it called? Do you know? I don't even know. We didn't give it a name. It was just like we just we just wrote some stuff. We wrote yeah. a couple things actually. My goal was never to be famous or to be a pop star or to be recognized on the street. It never. It was really just like I wanted to make music, and this is I, I'm I'm really I didn't think I was good at anything else. Like that's what I did. You know, I did exactly what I had set out to do, and it feels and sounds exactly how I wanted it to. So now I'm just like great everything else that happens is just it's just good you yeah. know it's like <laughs> i don't have any angst